Well, I was supposed to be presented with this with Adriano Saraiva, the developer analyst from Bank Brazil. I'm Leonardo, the senior software developer in the team. We, we work on the assistant virtual team, making the solution on the back. Welcome and thanks for the opportunity to learn more about grid grind and how banks are using Ignite to develop core bank applications. I, Leonardo, and with my friend, would like to thank you to the opportunity to share our experience with the Apache Ignite community. Thank you to Grid Grand and our contributors to Apache Ignite project. Also, I would thank you all as assistant cognitive project team for all the work you have done till now. Your collaboration and commitment have been crucial in, this, in making this come true. Thank you, guys. Let's start. Our presentation has the following schedule. First of all, we will start talking about challenge and business problem to solve, following by integration architecture of the fourth microservice and Ignite Cache Control. Then we will disclose about information control using Caching Ignite on asynchronous and no blocking events, HTTP and financial transactions. And finally, the following challenges from the near future. For just over a decade, all banks have been dealing with the digital transformation, growing in the volume of customers, transactions, and number of channels. The challenge from Branco do Brasil has to provide a solution capable of serving a large volume of customers according to the omni-channel concepts, providing a good user experience. In 2017, all at the Bank of Brazil, the development project from the Oros Omnichannel platform was initiated. We have implemented a complex event process, SIP, ecosystem based on Apache Ignite, JBoss rules, and other components. The requirement was to create cap capacity to allow virtual assistance for more than 22 million digital customers assessing from a month. The virtual assistant to the omnichannel channel platform was proposed to integrate, to support, and meet this increasingly growing demand. The challenge was integrating the virtual assistant components using Ignite to trigger cognitive structure NLP to no blocking HTTP requests. Further, the assistant also has to make it possible to execute financial transactions asynchronously, pub sub standard, based on the conversation between the client and the bank assistant, according to the service context linked to the attendance. This is our omni channel platform where the virtual assistant is inserted. You can see the team here. The virtual assistant is part of the attendance at this light top right and this robot here. And on the left side, there are the capabilities of what he has to attend on this, this side. The virtual assistant is, in, is with Oros Assistant platform as attendant. However, it has more sign, significant benefits due to artificial intelligence technologies that encompass the natural language process. With this, it is possible to identify the needs raised by the customer more humanly during the service, supplying the high volume of requests coming from the web platforms in the APIs using asynchronous and no blocking HTTP calls. All of these using the stack 
to which Ignite is insert and the execution of financial transactions on the rendezvous buses. The creation chip team at this one does the training with which consists of capturing phrases, identifying entities and intentions for the algorithm specialized in natural language process and creating content to improve the service and giving a more assertive response to the customer. At this, at this tool, the assistant is currently integrated with the primary social media and channels such as WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, LinkedIn, and others and others part of the communication media with Bank to Brazil, service infrastructure. All integrations with the virtual assistant are stored in the persistence layer to assist the creation chip team in learning in the knowledge corpus. Okay, so. In a brief explanation, Aorus is the code name of the omni-channel digital service and market platform, and the code name of the SAP ecosystem. We have implemented in-house the core framework and the transports and persistence integrations. Also, we use HA proxy as high performance load balance for TCP, HTTP, and WebSockets balance. The Aorus MQTT prox is based on a fork of MoCat MQTT broker open source project. The Interations event bus is based on published publish subscribe broker typical handles and is supported by vendor. At this four, out this, at this slide, there is environment where the application is located and coexist with the service account from the service queue and chat interactions, which also make the assistance virtual from the bank. This integration is responsible for the financial and business transactions event. The client NLP is communications based on the cognitive conversation. The destination of the EI tools request defined by the author from forward and requesting AI tools. Fi finally, just a second. <laughs> finally, there's the, the assistant, they take customer from the queue to assist them in the managed interaction. Every time the event related to customer service arrives, we carry out the control in the cache database. In the scenario that we have some resilience capabilities are used to such as cache mode replicated, write it through, read it through, write behind flush, write behind flush frequency, write behind batch size, write behind flush size, and write behind flush thread count. All these configurations were made with only one thing in mind, best performance in fault losing data. At the moment, we have two different scenarios of using the database in the virtual assistant. One is where the event arrives through a broadcast and only a single application must interact at the database, but all must be acting with the modification. The Others where it, the order is where the event arrives from one and the saved information is handled by anyone instance depending on the affinity. In the first case where some actions in the cluster become necessary only once, a leader is defined from this responsibility in the cluster, which the order ignite being triggered when eligible. The first case is usually linked to the actions from which the attendant must be to attend since our instance must perform one or more actions equally. In the second case, we have the events 
capture customer who enter in the service queue, message, financial transactions. These events are handled user using the affinity applied to transport and the database, where Ignite acts with events distribution and persistence. With the capabilities that we configure with right to and behind to distribute the load resiliently, with one of the instances becomes unavailable after the cache rebalance, another instance will have access to the same information to replace the unavailable one during the service. Activation of the cognitive extra NLP to a no blocking HTTP request, we will superficially address the non blocking HTTP async with the paradigm of the virtual system application with activation of the cognitive router and cognitive conversation. We recommend knowing the concept of the request and response, make your queries at another time as we will not address in the depth in this presentation. With that in mind, when a request is blocked, it means the thread is allocated for processing, waiting the response. In the case of the request fault blocking, the thread does not wait in the copulation of operations. With this, during the attendance events, when necessary, the events convert to a request to the NLP contextualized with the client's interactions, activating the indicate appropriate body of knowledge in a no-blocking async, thus maintaining the application and its infrastructure cost with the lower cost. Upon receiving the return event from the processing request to the natural language processing, the no block HTTP request async and convert by the transport to be inserted in the work memory being handled by Ignite with the proper validation policies, contextualization of the client, where, where if the event is waiting for continuity, the service is updated on the replicated basis and follows the flow. If not, it is discarded and removed from the memory. This follow is maintained during the conversation with the customer. At the end of the service, it is condensed and sent to persistent out of the cache. Well, let me show the event comes to prox handles ignite simulate and send this to the proper service to translate this to NLP and validate the answers and send to the client. In this topic, the transport layer is still based on event-driven using handovers in the transport layer between the virtual assistant and the integration executor. When indicated by the body of the knowledge to the client's intention to carry out a financial or business action, the assistant triggers from integration the contextualized event with the indicative information from the beginning of the transactions. Depending on the type requested, the transactions relevant to the transaction starts, such as requesting a password, account information, or similar if necessary. No integration in your transactional control and management according to each transactions of each request and its life cycle until compilation. Timeout and order deals are monitoring monitored with the aid of the cache and replicated in our instance. Very similar to HTTP transactions, no blocking, the events are inserted in the work memory, but arrive from handovers. The same flow is, is, is treated by the ambient. And they go to financial business control and come the answer to the client validation. 
is make in at each step is necessary and send the client the answer of the transaction in financial and business. Now let me show you all then working together. The client goes to the platform and clicks to start his attendance. Types what he or she wants and then that start a event to the OROS environment. This event is treated and the answer goes to the client. Well, for more information about this ambience, please review the Apache Ignite Meetup Late Events and attend the previous two talk sessions on this summit with the speakers Manuel Jr. and Ney Luis from Bank for, from Brazil. In this presentation, the issues of transport and events are discussed in greater depth using no blocking NIO and some particularities of the OROS environment. And any questions? Hello? I'm getting back. For hoping to bring me back on stage. Finally, at least oh. we were got Adriana on the line, at least. Adriana, everybody could see you. And now you can unmute yourself. I'm really Hello. sorry about this. I have some troubles. I can't understand what's happening. But I think that Leonardo handled the talk perfectly well. What's your thinking? <laughs> well. All right. No, honestly, honestly, uh, frankly speaking, I was impressed. I uh, did not know that actually, uh, I heard that you're using virtual assistant, but I did not know anything about internal details. Looks like guys, you're, you're using IBM Watson together with yes. Apache Ignite. And that's, you know, sometimes it's hard to impress me because I've been with the community for six plus years. I talk to many architects and application developers who are building like services and applications used by millions, but that's the first time like throughout the last like year when I was truly impressed. Like, excellent, excellent. So having said that, uh, does anybody have any questions to Leonardo? Or Adriana. If yes, just type them in in their yeah, I, I think that we've got a okay, we are getting the feedback. Amazing explanation. Sounds good. Sounds good. Then uh, I think with your talk folks, uh, the summit is over. So let me thank both of you. And uh, I hope that we'll meet at other events in the future.